Did you know that you can actually improve your internet speed just by three basic steps and all of them are about better positioning your router. Slow internet connection is one of the most annoying things in life. It hurts even more when you're already subscribed to a high or the highest speed available and still you struggle to watch YouTube videos or browse websites. If your job needs internet, for example, if you need to uh, find potential clients through their websites, your productivity drops down by half just because the internet is awful. So it's a real pain in the neck and sometimes it's not even the network's fault or the server provider's fault. Sometimes it's not even the router's fault. You could have a brand new router and still get terrible internet. So what are these three steps? Firstly, you need to understand what Wi-Fi waves are. The router emits electromagnetic waves that work over the same basic principle uh, as other wireless devices such as your phone or your FM radio. You know when you're in the subway or in the basement and you get poor cell phone signal and you can barely hear the person on the other line. Similarly, where your router is placed is a key element in whether you're having good or bad internet. One time I was working in a company where they used to put the router in a chest-like cupboard and the cupboard itself was put in a compartment that had thick wooden doors and you had to close those doors otherwise no one could get through the corridor. So imagine that the router is surrounded from three sides by concrete walls and from the fourth side by the cupboard's doors and then the compartment's doors. That's a very effective recipe for bad internet. All these obstacles are making it difficult for the Wi-Fi signal to reach your cell phone or laptop. That's not all. Actually, on the shelves above and below the router, even next to it, they placed other electronic devices such as UPS devices, voltage stabilizers, etc. And most of these devices had metal surfaces. So these electronic devices were also absorbing and disrupting the Wi-Fi signal, making it even worse. You can imagine what a nightmare the internet was. So the two steps we've learned so far. Firstly, the router should be placed in an open space away from doors or thick walls that could make it difficult for the Wi-Fi signal to pass through from one room to the other. And secondly, the router should be away from other electronic devices. Okay, to get to the third step, let's go back to the cupboard thing. It actually got worse. They placed the router on the lower shelves of that cupboard, which was very close to the ground. And it was a three-story office, and the router was on the top floor. So the router is broadcasting the signal, but immediately it's being absorbed by the ground. So the third step is placing the router centrally. Wi-Fi signals spread in all directions in a circle. If you had a multiple story home or office, the ideal place would be in the center of the middle floor. That way, the Wi-Fi signal is being distributed uh, evenly throughout every room in that home or office. Imagine it like this. The ideal place to put a router is similar to the most expensive or most valuable piece in a museum. Just like in movies when robbers want to get to that piece, but it has its own platform and it's uh, a bit elevated from the ground and surrounded by laser beams. Forget the laser beams, but that's how you should picture the placement of your router. It should be in a central position. Definitely you shouldn't place your router near windows because if it was near a window, much of the broadcast will go outside and a strong signal is going outside. So it's an opportunity for other people to access your internet. Like I said, it should be closer to the center as of your home or office as possible. The three main points that you have to pay attention to are keeping your router in an open area, away from thick walls or doors, uh, keeping it away from other electronic devices, and keeping it in a central position. If you pay attention to these three points, your internet connection speed will be much better. And if that happens, don't forget to leave a comment on this video, like and subscribe. A simple thanks would do it.
Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.